Hi, my name is Angel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is the last Monday in October, so I've got my last free Dunkin' coffee. I got the, um, what is it, the blueberry cobbler, which is like a members only thing, but it's so good. It is blueberry and butter pecan, and of course I get it with oat milk, um, in case anybody wanted to know, but it's delicious. Anyway, I just wanted to sit and talk about all the books that I hope to read in November. So let's go ahead and get into it and talk about my TBR. However, my birthday is November 7th, which, um, you know, my Amazon book wish list is in the description if you feel like gifting me anything. Um, not expecting anybody to spend their money on me, but if you do so kindly want to send me something, it's there. Just want to shout that out. Anyways. The point is, <laughs> my birthday is coming up, and all I ever ask for for my birthday is books. So, the books I get might throw off my TBR and reading plans, but we're going to try to stick to it the best we can. So, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys watch my October TBR, you know that I tried to read only horror in the month of October. So, I checked out a whole bunch, like 20-something books from the library. So, I have three books left that I wasn't able to get through. So, I'm going to try to do that in November. So, let's go ahead and talk about those. The first one is The End of Alice by A.M. Holmes. This I really, really want to read. I have been wanting to read it for a very, very long time. But I'm also scared to read it. So, I feel like that's why it sat on the TBR for so long. Um, I feel like it's going to be very dense and very heavy and it's going to take some time to get through. So we'll see if we get through this one in November. And the next one is The Drowning Kind by Jennifer McMahon, which I really, really wanted to get to in October, but I included it in a vlog where I had Instagram followers choose what I read. So this one didn't get picked, but I'm still very excited to read it. So hopefully I can do that. And then this last one actually didn't come in time. It just came in a couple of days ago at my library hold. So we have Mary, An Awakening of Terror. This one I've seen everywhere. And for the longest time, I was like, eh, I don't really want to read that one. Like, I'll pass. But I've seen so, so many people talking about it here on booktube, on bookstagram. And it really sounds like something I'll enjoy. I don't know why. I was like so quick to be like, eh, I don't want to read that. So I'm hoping to get to this. And I think Nat Cassidy just put out a new book as well. So hopefully I enjoy this one and then I can pick up her new book. So those are the three library books that I still have to get to. And then I have one book that is off of my own TBR that I wanted to read last month, but I pushed it off because I wanted to get through the library books first, obviously. So that is Rouge by Mona Awad, one of my most anticipated releases for this year. I love Mona Awad. I love the type of horror that this has to deal with, like the beauty industry and like a real life horror aspect to it. So I'm very, very excited to read this one. Also, I feel kind of dumb because I always looked at this cover and thought it was like a rose and I was like, oh cool, it's kind of interesting looking. Uh, you turn it upside down and it's a jellyfish. And I just never knew that. So anyways, so I have four books that I want to read that I didn't get to last month. However, November 3rd, I am starting a reading vlog. Um, so I don't know how many of these I'll be able to get through before I start that. I'm not going to tell you guys all of the books that are on the TBR for that reading vlog, but I will tell you this one and you'll probably be able to guess the direction of the vlog. Um, I'm going to be reading A Court of Thorns and Roses bit late to the party. To say I'm nervous about reading this book would be an understatement. I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm so scared to read this, but we're gonna do it. Hopefully I really, really enjoy it. Speaking of scared to read, this one I am both scared and excited to read. I'm scared, um, you'll see why in a second. <laughs> But this one has been on my TBR and I put it as a part of my 23 in 2023 so I do have to get to it but I am actually excited to get to it. But the reason I'm scared is because this book is just about 900 pages. This is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. Not only is it almost 900 pages but it's almost 900 pages of sci-fi. So this is going to be a chore. That sounds bad. Not like... I'm not looking forward to reading it. I am. I'm really, really excited to read it, but I know it's going to take me a while to get through. This is very ambitious to put a bunch of other books on my TBR while I know I'm going to read this one as well. So we'll see. 
we will see i love the cover also just i wish you guys could see it in person like this blue is like so shimmery and so pretty looking in person i'm obsessed and i think i literally paid like five or six dollars for this which is insane to me and the last things that i have like planned for november i want to read more nonfiction. so like long time ago at the beginning of this year i like started this thing where i was gonna read all the nonfiction on my tbr and then i read a couple and then it just kind of like fell off and i was reading other things but i do want to get back to that i like reading nonfiction. i enjoy it and i want to read more from a broad like variety of i guess what is the word topics like different things so i have a few that i'm going to check out from the library i do have one that's on my physical tbr which is this explains everything deep beautiful and elegant theories of how the world works this is another one that i put in my 23 and 2023 so i do have to get to this we're getting to the end of the year but i'm very very excited i hope it's just not too like dense and too hard to read but we will see and two other nonfiction books that i'm getting from my library are dead mountain which is supposed to be about the diet law pass which i'm very very excited for because that story is absolutely fascinating if you don't know what that is it was basically this group of like i think they were russian researchers scientists that were climbing this mountain and they all died but when they found like the scene where they were at there's just so many inconsistencies like bodies were found completely naked they were found with their tongues missing the tent looked like it was partially burned but it also looked like it was cut from the inside so like they were inside the tent and they cut their way out and nobody really truly knows what happened so i hope this book will bring some more insight into it and i think it's a very very fascinating case that i want to read more about and the other nonfiction that I'm trying to read, kind of a nonfiction November. I don't know if I said that yet, but that's kind of the reason, not only because I want to read more nonfiction, but I feel like nonfiction November it just flows so well. Um, anyways, the other one that I'm getting from my library is called The Power of Habit. So I think that one will be really, really insightful into a lot of different things. So we will see. Also with nonfiction, I have two celebrity memoirs that I have checked out on Libby right now through my library. The first one is Page Boy, which is obviously Elliot Page's memoir. I've been really, really excited to read this one and very, very excited to hear his story and just the process of coming to terms with the fact that he is trans and coming out to other people and all of that. I feel like it'll be very powerful story and i'm very very excited to read that and then we also have paris the memoir which is obviously paris hilton i'm excited for this one because i don't know exactly what she's going to talk about in this book but i know i watched the documentary the paris hilton documentary a couple of years ago and i thought it was really really good and very interesting how she talks about i don't know what the word is like the environmental like camps that people send their children to when they like act up and they're like absolutely horrible and do like the worst punishments and just do horrible horrible things to these children and inflict like trauma on them and paris hilton was sent to one of those when she was younger which i didn't know i'm sure a lot of people didn't know and the documentary really i feel like brought to light a lot of things that you wouldn't know about her so i'm very excited to see what the memoir talks about especially because she's in like such a different place from when that documentary was so we'll see how the memoir goes also in november i am trying to read the creature feature collection which i didn't get to in october but i feel like is perfect for spooky season this is six different books about creature features the thing is i fully thought they were like full length novels like 200 something pages they're not they're actually like short stories they're like 60 pages so i think what i'm gonna do is just take all of them and read them in one day and do like a cute little cozy reading vlog but i'm very very excited to read those and keep the halloween spooky spirit going because i love i love scary stuff so i feel like this tbr definitely has way less books than my october tbr but it is definitely not any less ambitious because i have non-fiction which is going to be a lot of brain power to read i have sci-fi i have fantasy and just a lot of things that i'm a little bit nervous for but very very excited for anyway that is pretty much it for my november tbr let me know if you guys have read any of these um 
and keep a lookout for a certain vlog because I'm excited to film it, but I'm also terrified, terrified. Anyway, with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a very, very good reading month in November. I'm gonna send all the good vibes and hopefully I will see you guys next time.